the penultimate episode of Shogun, titled Crimson Sky, throws viewers a curveball instead of the epic battle the title and prior episodes seem to promise. Crimson Sky delves into the desperate act of defiance undertaken by Lady Mariko. We see her strategically challenge Lord Ishido's control over the assembled nobles. She does this not just through words, but through symbolic gestures like her bold behavior in court and even resorting to a physical confrontation with Ishido's guards. Mariko's mission is clear, to expose Ishido's true intentions by demanding safe passage for herself and the other noble women. She argues that they are not guests, but hostages, highlighting the precarious situation they're all in. When faced with the impossible situation of failing her duty, Mariko makes a shocking decision. She announces her intention to commit suicide at sunset, a drastic move that forces everyone to confront the harsh reality of Ishido's rule. This act not only emphasizes the desperation of her situation, but also serves as a powerful protest against Ishido's tyranny. The episode adds another layer of emotional complexity with Blackthorn's reaction. Driven by his deep love for Mariko, he is willing to do the unthinkable, assist her in a suicide that would be considered dishonorable. This moment, conveyed largely through their eyes, speaks volumes about the intensity of their connection. However, the story takes another turn. Ishido allows Mariko and the women to leave, seemingly conceding to her demands. But this reprieve is short-lived. He sends assassins to stop their escape, revealing his true duplicity. In a final act of heroism, Mariko uses her own body as a shield against an explosion meant to harm the fleeing group. With this selfless sacrifice, Mariko finds a purpose in death that she felt she lacked in life. Crimson Sky may not deliver the large-scale battle some viewers might expect, but it offers something far more profound. It's a powerful character study that showcases Mariko's strength, her unwavering resolve, and her ultimate sacrifice. The episode is a testament to her complex inner struggle and the deep emotional connection she shares with Blackthorn. Episode 9 of Shogun delivers a devastating blow with Lady Mariko's tragic death. This act of selfless heroism sets the stage for a high-stakes finale with far-reaching consequences. Mariko's mission, expose Ishido's deception. Following Lord Taranaga's secret plan, Mariko embarked on a dangerous mission. By becoming a prisoner herself in Osaka, she aimed to expose Ishido's claim of hosting the nobles as guests. This forced his hand either acknowledge holding hostages or release them. A ruthless solution and a fleeting reprieve. Ishido, unwilling to relinquish his power, opted for a brutal solution, silencing Mariko. While granting permission to leave, he orchestrated a surprise attack by shinobi assassins during their escape. This betrayal left Mariko trapped. Despite a brief hope kindled by the permission to leave, her fate was sealed. Facing death with purpose, unafraid of death, Mariko chose to face it on her own terms. Refusing to flee and leave others vulnerable, she used her body as a shield against the explosion meant to eliminate them all. This heartbreaking sacrifice underscored her unwavering resolve to expose Ishido's tyranny. Though her life was cut short, her actions may not be in vain. Yabashige's treachery, a calculated betrayal, the attack on the castle enfolded on the very night of the supposed release. This timing pointed to Ishido's involvement. However, the mastermind behind the immediate assault was Yabashige, the ever-shifting Lord of Izo. Driven by self-preservation, he betrayed Mariko and Blackthorn in exchange for his own life, facilitating the entry of the deadly shinobi. Ishido's desperate maneuver, Ishido's plan, though partially successful, was riddled with deceit. Granting Mariko permission to leave was a charade, a desperate attempt to maintain control. He understood that releasing them would weaken his position but continued imprisonment would expose his true motives. This calculated move backfired with Mariko's sacrifice, potentially allowing some hostages to escape and reveal his treachery. A glimmer of hope amidst the tragedy. Despite the tragedy of Mariko's death, a glimmer of hope remains. Her actions may have achieved her mission. If any of the protected hostages manage to escape and expose the events in Osaka, the truth about Ishido's tyranny will come to light. This could severely weaken his power base isolating him and potentially turning the tide in Lord Taranaga's favor. Blackthorn's grief and Taranaga's looming move, the emotional fallout from Mariko's death, will be significant. Blackthorn, having confessed his love only hours before, 
will undoubtedly be devastated. His anger will likely be intensified upon learning of Yabashige's involvement. Meanwhile, Lord Taranaga's absence in this episode doesn't diminish his influence. Mariko's actions, fueled by her past and loyalty to him, have disrupted Ishido's stability. With potential defections from other daimyos and the possibility of escaping hostages spreading the truth, Taranaga may finally have the upper hand as the series heads towards its climax.